this is uh, one of the easiest ways to know that the Earth is a sphere because everything we see, everything, including the Earth, uh, right, very large, massive objects are crushed into a sphere. That's why stars, planets, moons, everything pretty much is spheres. So oh, wow. uh, you can now go ahead and do your like electric, electric gravity bullshit, and then I'll explain to you why it's stupid. Because I watched what? two of your videos and you say the same crap in every single one. Okay, right. so it doesn't matter though. That's why what you're saying is stupid. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. So you do not know the ways in which we figure out things about celestial objects. You literally don't even know the definitions of the words that represent the techniques that we use. So why are you even talking about it? Study of how light interacts with matter needs to be in a container. Other, what does that mean? You know that the moon is solid. How come you can't see it during a new moon? I, why can't you see it during a new moon? Yeah. Because do you understand how vision works? Well, right? read by that moonlight. That moonlight uh -huh. casts a shadow. On the Don't interrupt. Uh -huh. That cast, and it should light up the moon, but it doesn't. And no telescope, no from any position with the infrared or anything has ever seen the moon. It Can you think not. of why? Can you think of why? Can what you... you're doing right now is your baby. What are you talking about? Do you Gee, seriously what? not understand this stuff? A child can understand so, this stuff. So when you. What are you like Googling stuff furiously over there? Yeah, I just explained it. I just Earth. answered your question. You just answered it again. You asked a question that I just answered. Which the is sun is very bright. Do you understand that if something very bright, looking at something very bright, you can't see something way less bright right Gabe, next to it? What are total, you not getting about that? When there's a it doesn't block it out. The, the corona. The Have you never seen an eclipse? Why are we talking this is, no, 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 stop, stop. It, look, look I, I know that you want to just spew your script without anybody challenging, but you say so many I stupid no things, script, and I'm here to tell you why everything you're saying is stupid. So when you say stars igniting in a vacuum, the reason that's confusing for you is that you think stars are little bonfires no, because you're a moron, because no, you don't you, understand you, nuclear you, fusion. You nuclear fusion is, is the process by which stars yeah. glow. They're not little fireballs. And okay. you can learn that by Googling something for five seconds, but you don't do it. So Dave, Dave, do you believe that all the rocky bits turn into perfect balls and then all of the gases somehow start getting gravity and they start pulling it together and they start get Start getting big. gravity? What do you well, mean they, start they, getting how, gravity? How, how, do they, how do they grow into stars? How come the dust is accumulating? What's bringing it together? Is somebody gravity. it up like a snowball? So gravity. gravity. So yeah, so, yeah. They, they, so they get something and it's a tiny bit of gravity, pulls in some more dust. It pulls in, the, not dust, it pulls in gases. And somehow it's pulling all of these gases together and turning into a nuclear furnace that burns for billions of years. Um, I'm sorry, that doesn't make any sense. And if you okay, want to so, that, so, that's so, world. so centuries of brilliant astronomers versus, no, uh, is that really all you have? Is the entire field of astronomy and you going, mm, that's, I don't like it. That's dumb. I'm dumb and I don't get it. So astronomy is wrong. Dave, that's literally your argument against astronomy you, right now. You, you, I mean, and, if you're just going to lie, wait, then wait, we can just and, play the lie game. And, and about <laughs> what doesn't there. make sense? What doesn't make sense about how, an Earth how, orbiting a sun? What no, no, you, no, you no, going, no, that no, doesn't make sense, Dave, isn't Dave, an argument. Dave, stop being a dick. Listen to what I said. <laughs> you stop Listen. being a dick. Yeah, you know if you problem? just say it doesn't make sense and stop talking, how I guess, does, how does, we're probably going to get a better model later. Do you not understand how science works? So for that to work, how close is the sun? How close is the sun? How close we, is the sun? Yeah, the really sun, close, like the right sun. above the clouds, which we'd be able to see if you went up in a plane or a balloon, oh, and it'd be like answer. right there. Huh? Dave, there's, there's, math works. We can scale it and make it the six math works. Away. You've never done any math in your entire life. You hey, just hey, say hey, the hey, math stop, works stop and expect saying, people to stop, just stop being a condescending prick. All right, try. Why try don't you stop minute. condescending to the entire human race and pretending that every scientist ever is a liar and satanic deceiver? That's much more offensive than me calling you stupid, which you hey, are. Hey, which hey. number do you think is going to be bigger, buddy? Which and one so, do you think is going to so, be bigger? And so the planet, have, the one that it is orbiting around. This is what happens is I say something or a flatter debunker like myself says something that just annihilates the idiotic thing you just said. And then you just gish gallop to another point. I would like you to admit that what you just said is stupid based on what I just said. Repeat what you said. I just explained to you why what you said about the sun and the moon is stupid. Isn't that neat? Isn't that a neat thing that we can do with math and numbers that are real things that scientists do instead of just going, it, it doesn't make sense, so that's dumb. 
It doesn't work. What do you mean it doesn't? Hey, model it. You, you ever you know about the three body problem? I'm sure you know about that. Oh, the three body problem. So we can't hey, do Dave, calculations. Stop being such a condescending prick. We already know. <laughs> just be a just talk normal. Because it doesn't that's matter. really what we're talking about. What do you mean I, again, it doesn't matter? Again, you're David, talking about a direction. I'm talking I, about clockwise versus counterclockwise and, when you're looking at the poles. And Dave, the the poles. The yeah, huh? well, you, you say the polls. So, so getting back to your point where you have somebody in uh, Santiago, somebody in Johannesburg, and somebody in Australia, when they see the Southern Cross, well, they don't see it at the same time. They see it 12 hours apart from Santiago. They don't see it at the same time? So, right, so people wait, looking so, south can't see the night sky at the same time? David, if you mm -hmm. understand what the Flat Earth model is, if somebody's in Santiago... You don't have a model. Listen. Yeah. Stop, stop being a dick. Okay. You stop if, being a dick. Your entire existence is being a dick to hey, all of science. <laughs> so keep, stop keep telling going, me to going, stop being a going. dick. Uh, uh, let's, I just finished proving the Earth is a sphere by looking at stars, <laughs> something that we've been doing for thousands of years. Yeah, channel. Uh, oh, go amazing. look at some <laughs> lies that a flat earther said. That is real evidence. No, it's sure. well, it's Dave. It's well documented. You haven't looked at it. And then when you yeah, right? but the problem is you can't do math, so you just do yep. the math wrong. That would be equivalent to this. People say, oh, I'm just trying to think of the, the, the easiest thing. I'm just to trying to think it. of something to say hey, Dave, that will stop, make sense. Stop being a dick, right? If you're, if, if, imagine you're, if you want to compare oh, that. Man. If you want to compare that. What are you not understanding about that? Our, uh, so tides exist, right? And so on your little pizza world, tides are these little mounds of water that kind of travel around. I don't really know how else you're going to explain this, but uh, right, tides exist, right? Like Antarctica isn't real, so the South Pole. The, the, the okay, so I know that you can do your fun little middle school science project. You have a little, uh, you know, serving tray thing, and you make a flashlight do funny things, but you cannot make it actually. So this is why you have your dumb little app. It's really dumb. But no, let me continue not. demolishing. Okay, stop. I'm going to continue demolishing the idi idiotic thing you just said uh, earlier. So you can do your little thing. Flat Earthers love to do their little middle, middle school science project. So hey, you've got the thing and blah blah blah. So why can't your flat Earth app do it? Why can't you actually show the regions of day and night why all of your idiot people who buy that thing they're not like oh that looks cool and they don't actually look at what it does at all down is towards the center of the earth nobody is upside down that's one of the dumbest things you morons say down is towards the center of the earth yeah. are you five years old you have the intellect of a five-year-old you can't understand hey, like little hey, kids understand this stuff you I, know that I just want to hey, say, Ed, you're more of a condescending prick than i thought you, well, you, I, I wouldn't say you're more than anything I thought. I know what you are, but uh, I'm sorry, again, to reiterate, reiterate for the third time, your entire identity is based on the, the idea that all the scientists in the entire world nope. are lying deceivers. Nope. So you're so. a condescending nope. douchebag. You say. And me That's calling you, you stupid, which you are, is does not hold a candle uh, to right, what John. you are. That's what he claimed. <laughs> I don't believe that. Um, and Wait, that's what, I've, that's got, what you're I've got another question for other Dave, oh. Professor Dave. Um, yeah. Just so obviously, I can see. I mean, it, it means a lot to you as, as, as on the other side, of course. Why does it annoy you so much, the flat Earth stuff? Because it's so. I, I mean, first of all, a lot of what I do. Uh, I mean, I do mainly academic tutorials, but I also address misinformation. I'm very passionate about uh, public science literacy and science denial. And flat Earth is the bottom of the barrel. So Dave. I go after like anti-vaxxers and stuff like that, and that is a little more oh. sophisticated and you have to actually understand a little bit of biochemistry a little bit of immunology and things like that flat earth is the only one i just proved the earth is a sphere multiple times in this exchange based on looking at things in the sky and thinking that's hey, how we figured out the earth is a sphere two thousand several thousand years ago it's like the first thing we figured out hey, so a, this is why it's so offensive because it is a denial of literally all of science astronomy all wrong geology all wrong physics all wrong it's so unbelievably offensive to the entire human race that's why you're a douchebag and me calling you stupid has is nowhere near the magnitude of douchebaggery that is your entire identity you're talking so, to him not me right sorry no. yeah <laughs> to davy boy over there so, so